Hey everyone, in this video, how to create a WhatsApp chatbot where you can post queries and uh, it will answer them using the chat GPT or you can ask it draw something right? like uh, if you need some images we that bot will draw using the DAL E2 actually. So let's get we started. First I am just create a account in the Twilio sandbox for WhatsApp. So this URL I added in the description below. After that you sign up this page. So after that uh, you need to create your first Twilio account over there. So once you created the account, the first Twilio account will be automatically created. So after that, uh, there is a send one way message and uh, two way message. So like that, it will be asking some, some small configuration setup is there. So you can put your next, next, next like that. And uh, if you see that in that uh, configuration level, uh, you will get the the temporary phone number as well actually so once you configured the all the numbers so this is the number uh, if i created the first twilio account so we need to send the message to this number i'm just sent the hi uh, from my number actually so after that we need to configure our sandbox actually yeah this is the sandbox setting so this is the important one for our chatbot and uh, the next part i'm going to beta.openai.com so inside that we need to create a API keys for the open AI, the chat GPT model we need to access, right? So we can uh, create a new API keys for that. I'm already copied that API key. So you can by create using this button actually. So after that, once you get the API keys, so after that, let me start the code part in Python, go to the VS code. Let's we imported the necessary libraries for that. So these are the three libraries uh, we are going to use and Flask. So this is for the server we are going to use web server and uh, Twilio. So this library, we need to install it. Pip install Twilio obviously. I'm going to import the open AI library. That next part, we need to initialize the Flask app actually. So once we initialize the Flask app, so we need to set the API keys for that actually for the open AI API key. I'm just, uh, this is my API keys for accessing that chat GPT. I need to classify the, what are the messages? What are the categories, right? Because I'm importing the two models. One is DALI, one is chat GPT. Chat GPT fully text based uh, model and a DALI fully image based models. So I need to find out the chat messages. This is this, this message will be, uh, they are asking image. This message will be, uh, they are asking uh, some text answers actually. So that's why I'm going to uh, create some synonymous uh, like classification list. So this is the thing I'm going to create draw, paint, image, picture, photo, painting, drawing. So if anything comes under this in the message, so it will be goes to the gen uh, that image generation part actually. So the next part I'm going to create uh, one function. So that function called generate image. So inside the image, uh, I'm already put some tutorials to how to create your images using DAL E, right? If you missed out the video, so you can just check the description. I added in the link below. Actually, I'm just to take the existing tutorial uh, that method I'm going to take actually. So inside the method, so this is the method will be generating the image using the DAL E model actually. So here it is generate response and inside that uh, there is a text prompt and a number of results should be a one and the size should be a 1024 and 1024 and you can change the by the size based on your format and uh, there is a response format it's a url format actually there is a two types of response format is there one one is uh, base 64 and uh, another one is url so i am going to take the url so after that once i'll get the url i'm just returning over so this is for dali image generation method and uh, that next part I need to create a text based that means chat GPT level. This method also I'm added already completed in the tutorial part. So I'm added in the description below so you can check it. So inside that uh, there is a openai.completion.create. So inside that I can model text Davency 003 temperature. Uh, so that means a threshold value prompt. So there's a question and a maximum token be a hundred. Uh, that means size of buffer actually. And a number of results should be a one. If you need to stop the response. So we don't need to stop the response actually. 
what are the response we will get so that we can just simply pass the whatsapp message actually so stop is equal to none so after that let me create a api for that actually i'm gonna create so this is that app.route slash whatsapp post method i'm going to use and uh, i'm gonna create one new method that called uh, whatsapp reply i need to get the query from the twilio request.form because twilio sent the message via form data actually so i'm going to get the data request.form that body value in the lower case for reference i can just print the user query and, uh, we need to create a response for that for the twilio so this message response i'm already added in the header file so uh, to really response i'm creating a res response class object so dot message dot reply so if i send the message via reply it will be sending it and uh, i'm going to make a condition so this message will be be a image this message regarding with the text based so i'm going to classify that so here it is so there is a query is there so once we get the data so after that uh, the query will be lower case and uh, if the query contains the, that synonymous value so that means uh, it's an image thing. If it is not contained the synonymous value, so it will be basing the chat GPT. So we can just, once we get the data, so we can directly send the value to the URL. And uh, finally, we will return the response. After that, we need to run the file. We run the file. So inside the file, I'm going to run Python module flash run. If I run that, now the flask will be running fine. And the next part, uh, we are going to install the ng rock actually. So I'm open the Google Chrome. So there is a ng rock is there. So, so this is the ng rock. Uh, so it will be exposing your API uh, to the public actually. That, that means uh, your API, it's fully running on the local machine. If you use the ngrock uh, library, it will be make as a public domain. But the server is in your local. But uh, obviously, it will be just uh, exposing your API with the port uh, to the outside the world actually. So that's why uh, we are just using, uh, I'm already using the Windows and uh, I'm just downloading that. So after the downloading, you will see the this ngrock library will be there. So inside that you can see the ngrock.exe. So this is the only one file will be there. We come to that project. So this is the file ngrock.exe. So once you extracted inside your project, so after that already your Flask app will be running on the 5000 port, right? So at the same time, going to open the another terminal inside that uh, ngrock http and 5000. So I just uh, trigger that now ng rock will be uh, started at the same time at the same time flask up also running cu currently actually so the two things will be running and uh, this is your local uh, flask app so the 5000 port and uh, this is your public domain so i am just gonna copy that url so this is the main url so this is your public url for your api right so again i am going to the twilio so inside that uh, there is a messaging in the left side bar is there right inside that uh, there is a settings and uh, there is a whatsapp sandbox settings is there so inside the whatsapp sandbox this is a when when your message comes in okay so if someone send a message to your ch chatbot so the chatbot will be respond right so this is your chatbot number and uh, this is the code for activate your chat box actually so when a message comes in i'm going to delete the existing thing and uh, after that i am just uh, i'm already copied this value right this value i'm gonna paste it so after that slash we need to put our whatsapp so if i put that so once messages comes uh, once some users will send the message to your chatbot so that chatbot will send a redirect the message to this api and uh, after that your api will respond and send back actually so this is the flow it will run and uh, let me save now i'm saved so let me open it yeah so this is the two command prompt one is flask another one is ngrock next i'm going to open my whatsapp yeah so this is my whatsapp and uh, in that uh, this is the number 4155238886 right so the same number 4155238886 is there i'm gonna send you a message provide some basic python script so 
if i send that oh, once i send the message uh, the ng rock will be get the value here it is user query level provide some basic python script so after that it will be processing and send back to that so let's see yeah printing a string hello world and uh, using a for loop it will be printing actually yeah so the next part i'm going to type tell some jokes sending that message to my chat gpt bot ah yeah it's started actually what did the fish say when it's hit the wall damn so <laughs> it's look uh, some angry jokes actually hope you guys you will get some understand about that how to create a twilio sandbox for whatsapp in that whatsapp how we need to integrate the python code and uh, chat gpt and uh, dali that uh, big huge amount of models how we need to implement our script so and uh, how it going to work in the efficient way right so for more videos uh, keep subscribe my channel and uh, thanks for watching see you on the next video Love you all. Cheers. Bye.